Hi. Let me tell you about another great Manning book. Right Powerful Rust Macros, written by Sam Van Overmeyer. Macros are a crucial feature in Rust, offering a gateway to advanced programming techniques. They require knowledge in various areas such as testing, debugging, library setup, Rust's internals, and more. This book will focus on procedural macros, which are more powerful and flexible than declarative macros. A Rust developer's typical day might involve using macros to process JSON requests and return user details. Macros like format bang macro, hash derive attribute for deserialize, are essential tools for writing efficient and robust code, highlighting Rust's metaprogramming capabilities. Metaprogramming is the practice of writing code that manipulates other code. Rust uses macros for compile time code generation, other languages use different metaprogramming techniques, such as reflection in Java or the eval function in JavaScript and Python. Metaprogramming can introduce complexity and unpredictability, especially in languages like Java or JavaScript and Python. Security risks and performance issues are common concerns. Compile time code generation in languages like C and C++ offers power but lacks safety and can lead to unintended consequences. Rust's approach to metaprogramming is safe and efficient, with macros that are evaluated at compile time. Rust has two kinds of macros, declarative and procedural, with the latter split into three, derive, attribute, function-like. Macros are useful for automating repetitive tasks, abstracting complexity, and creating domain-specific languages. They are suitable for reducing repetitive code and extending the capabilities of a language. However, macros should not be used for simple tasks or business logic that can be handled by functions, as they can make the code more complex and difficult to manage, especially since IDE support for macros is often limited compared to functions. In other words, they should be used sparingly. The book takes an example-driven approach, using a single application per chapter to explore Rust concepts and related topics. It covers parsing, testing, error handling, and debugging, with practical insights from popular Rust crates. Think of a recent application that you worked on. Ask yourself whether macros could have improved a recent project by reducing repetition, simplifying code, or overcoming language limitations. Evaluate their potential to enhance user experience and functionality. Get this book at manning.com.